Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I need to pack, I need to pack my things. So I thought why not make a video and I will show you how I pack. So I'm gonna show you how I pack. This is everything that I own. I don't own anything more. I don't have a whole house. I don't have furniture. I don't have more clothes than this, which I'm gonna fold in a minute. I don't have a car. I don't even have a driver license, so. I told myself that I'm never gonna get a driver license until they find the car that is 100% good for the environment. And we came up with such a car yet, because when we have, I will start to study for a driver license. Until then, I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> this is a video on how to pack, or how I pack my things at least. Smartest ways I've come up with, and also I watched other people pack, so I kind of got inspiration by other people. So let's start. First of all, I have these bags. So this makes it very more organized. Instead of having all of your clothes in your bag directly, you put them in smaller bags. So it's just a, yeah, what is it? It's made of water resistant at least. And then you just close it when everything is inside. And yes, all of this fits in this. Then I have a smaller bag for my underwear and socks and bath suit. So these bags you can find in a shop that sells com camping stuff, probably maybe online if you can't find the uh, if you can't find a shop like that in your area. Uh, I bought this in Los Olsons. I had three, or I had it, you actually get piece of five. Two of them I didn't want to use because it was like a gym bag and I didn't want that. So, but it was free. I had one more. It was, it was bigger than this. And I, it, it got stolen actually. It got stolen in India. I forgot the bag with all of the stuff in it in a hot, hotel room. In a hotel room. And then I went back four hours, like four hours in the future. Four hours later I noticed that where's my bag with all of the stuff. So. I went back to the hostel and they gave me the things that was inside the bag but the navy gave me the bag so they took the bag they took out all of my cards from my wallet and kind of searched my wallet for money I guess uh, but I didn't have any money in there yeah I got I got back my things but I never got the bag back but it's okay I don't need it one is fine you sort out things basically so I have all of my clothes in this one and smaller clothes in that one. So let's do this. So the easiest way to fold is to roll. It takes less space. It takes more time also, but it's okay. We don't have to rush anything. I am probably gonna fast forward though. Now I just fold it, I was gonna roll it. I don't really remember how I did that last time. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold this shirt and I roll the other ones. So sometimes you can't roll. I, I guess you can, but uh, my brain stopped working there. called in English but you have on, on in winter with me because I never know when it's gonna be cold when I'm traveling right now I'm in Asia so it's <laughs> I have a lot of hot clothes that I don't really need right now so it's taking a lot of space even though I don't need it but someday I will need it because I'm still traveling <laughs> this one I bought in India pretty important for me to make it cozy wherever I am and Ganesh makes me feel relaxed and protected and it's a very beautiful uh, tapestry I guess 
Uh -uh. So most of my underwear is in that, uh, in that bag there. So that's the thing when you travel. So you need to have space for dirty clothes. Because not every time before you go, you have the ability to wash. I'm gonna wash when I get back, when I get to the new place tomorrow. I'm gonna need to force that in my bag. Okay, let's put everything inside here. Something like that. As you can see, it doesn't really look like it's gonna match. But a bit of force and everything is possible. Friendly force, of course. Ta-da! So this is my clothes. I have these also, but I usually have it at the side of my back. Close. Now, I have a bag, because the bag is good to have, it's making it a bit more organized, right? So, I have a bag here, this was made in India for me, where I have all of my cosmetic things. So, coconut hand cream, it smells good. I love coconut smell. I just throw it in there. Mm. Perfume. This is heat, it helps with yeah, muscle pain from my mom. It also smells good. It smells like Jenka, if you know what that is. It's like it's a gum. Jenka. Mm. Coconut oil. So I have small little containers to things. I just fill them up when, when I'm gonna go. Tiger balsam if I get mosquito bites. Vera if you get burned. Then I have even smaller bags, so you can have even more things, so it's not all over the place. So in this one I have medicine. This is eye medicine from my Rishikish eye. I still saved it, I don't know. And this is my jewelry. This is everything that Indian women on the beach in Goa try to sell me, basically. No. <laughs> so it's, yeah, mostly actually. <laughs> this is where I have my bindis some more medicine I guess apparently so all like small things so it's not all over the place in small bags and the bags is in the big bag so it's like it's like this Russian game you know when there's a big there's a big uh, or there's a woman and then there's a smaller woman in the woman and then there's an even smaller woman in the woman babushka isn't it is it that babushka there we have all of my clean things then I have another bag. I like bags. This is also from India, I think. So in this bag I have noise cancelers that you put in your ear so you can sleep since I'm living in dorms. Sometimes people snore, some pa sometimes people are just making noise either in the middle of the night or very early morning. So if you're gonna travel and live in dorms, I suggest you to buy these because a good sleep is important. I have eye care drops, eye drops. A locker. I have my own locker with me with numbers. So I, first of all, don't lose the keys. And second of all, it's nice to have your own locker. It feels a bit more safe. You never know. I have a sewing kit in case something breaks apart. Because when I travel, sometimes things break. Like my bag or clothes or whatever so it's good to have a little sewing sewing uh, thing so you can fix it I have a rope because ropes is uh, important sometimes when you're living in dorms I want to have some kind of privacy sometimes so I set up my I set up this or something like a towel also works but this is a good and sometimes you can't set up them, so I just draw a string with line through the different... Yeah, on the on the bed, so I can just 
make myself a little a little room there and so I can get more privacy when I sleep and stuff especially when I sleep in mixed dormant dormitory room so it's mixed with women and men and sometimes it's weird people there you know so you rather just want to close yourself up not always it kind of depends on where you're living in and what kind of dorm and in what kind of country and what kind of people are gonna be there but once this was actually in Thailand I lived in a dorm and uh, there was this guy in the middle of the room just standing and staring at me in the middle of the night when it was dark so that was very scary um, I was he was just walking around in the room because I can hear him so I didn't see him because my back was turned against against uh, the room so I was facing the wall uh, but I could hear him walk around like in circles and then I hear I heard him go walk to my bed and then stopped I was like shit he's, sta he's just he's just standing right behind me right now and just like staring at me yeah that was pretty scary um, and I was on the higher bed so I couldn't really do my thing there but I'm still alive and I'm I'm still alive I also have got uh, erasers if I need to erase something I guess I have a finger here it's funny it's funny a uh, battery I look I <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it sunglasses perfume more perfume this is I love this I thought I lost it a couple of weeks ago but I found it again so it's one of these you know tools so I have a knife here if I need to kill someone I also need I have a scissor here and you know opening bottles and yeah, every tool that you need. That's kind of what I have in this bag. This is my everything bag. Kind of my tool bag or things that I need. I have more medicine in case I get sick. I never been, I never got kind of sick yet. Except for my eye and except for sunburn. But I never got fever or I never got like... Yeah, I got fever when my eye was fucked. But that was just because of the eye. So I haven't really got sick yet. But I have a lot of medicine with me. So. If I uh, if I hurt myself, you know, good good things to have basically. Finger, call me Mr. Finger. So that was this bag. Then I have another bag. <laughs> I think this is no, this is my neck almost last bag. So in this I have all of the electricity things, everything that I need to have regarding gadgets and stuff like that so here's an old phone that is very broken but if my phone that I have now would if I would lose it or if it would be destroyed or whatever I have an extra phone but it's not it's working but it's not it's not in the it's it's barely working let's say like that my case to my phone I should use this on my phone right I'll just have it on this chargers and stuff like this in this in this bag for my speaker because music is the answer music is the answer books the power of now dancing in the breeze by osho and the way of Sun by alan watts i've read this now so it's finished i've also read this also this is also f almost finished 20 pages left. I don't know why I haven't let, read it. But. It's taking a lot of space, but I love to read real books instead of reading on like a tablet or a, I don't have even a tablet, but on the phone is not the same thing. Here's my gratitude journal. I write every day, almost being able to breathe, being able to travel. That I am myself. I don't know. I write a lot of things in it. Let's 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 see. It's a Swedish show, so yeah, I can try to translate it. Today I'm thankful that I can get help with my eye. <laughs> okay, this was in Rishikesh. Yeah. Today I'm thankful that I can get help with my eye so it can get better and better. And so the pupil can get normal again. I'm thankful that the universe has a plan for me already. I'm thankful that the universe always give me what I need. I'm thankful for India and for the people that I've met. That I'm always on the right place in the right time. 
that I have my friends and that music that music exists and that I exist. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then I have small just books that I paint small things in. Then I have this one. This is all of my memories from my travels. So I have my morning prayer here. I say a prayer every morning. It's a prayer for for the universe, for, for existence, for the plants, for earth, for myself, for the humans. Another bag that I have is my little fanny pack. So I have it there. This is the important things, you know, money, passport, gum, lip thing. So let's see. I'm not done yet, so I have something some more. This is the tarot things. So my, my deck. Then this is the spirit oracle deck. Then I have a rhino there. I still have the case because it's a smart case. And I have some incense because it helps me to relax. And some candles. This candles is... Helping us to connect to energy. And I have this little thing. It's where I can have incense or also candles. They have like different things. I like that. Then there's a bag too. One more bag. This is the last bag. And here I just have my crystals. So I have Salo, pan Salo Panto. No, pa Panto Salo. Panto Salo. Salo Panto. Panto Salo, I think. I've lost some crystals on my journey, but I know that someone else may need it more than me. And when we lose a crystal, I kind of feel that it's it's because we we have we don't need that energy or that friend in our life anymore. So I just have the crystals in here, so they are safe and comfortable. 